So what's going on everyone and in this video I'm going to be comparing the battery charging performance of the same Apple Watch charging different ways. I'm going to be using the regular cable which is included in the Apple Watch box but at first I'm going to be using 5 watt power brick which is like the standard of older iPhones and I'm going to compare it to the 10 watt power brick which is like included in the iPad boxes of some older iPad models. And the way it works is that I'm gonna charge the Apple Watch using one charger, then I'm gonna like use it, completely drain it, and then recharge it again with another way of charging. And at the end, I'm gonna compare the results. But I'm not just gonna compare the end full battery result, but I will also have some checkpoints. That means that I will compare it when the app logo pops up. Then when we reach 10%, 20, 50, 80, 90, and then the entire full battery. So we can actually begin with it right now. Now laying the Apple Watch on the charger using the 5 watt power brick, the Apple logo popped up in about 7 minutes and 5 seconds. And the thing is that I have to wait for the Apple logo to pop up and constantly wait and take a look at the stopwatch. That's why I have it right next to it. And if I compare it to the 10 watt charger, well, we got there to the same point to the Apple logo popping up in 5 minutes, which means that we got there a little bit faster and it shows that so far the more like um, the bigger watts of the charging brick actually cause things to move faster, at least at this point. But the 10% checkpoint or checkmark, whatever you want to call it, as you can see, the 5 watt charger already got there at the same time as the Apple logo popped up, which means that 7 minutes and 5 seconds was the exact time for the Apple logo to show up as well as for the 10% to be reached, which means that we already have the second checkpoint. But the 10 watt power brake got to 10% in 9 minutes and 50 seconds which means that it's a little bit slower even though the uh, charging brake is a bit more powerful which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense but we are still at 10 percent maybe it's gonna get even or maybe it's gonna get even faster by the way guys if you're new on this channel then make sure to take a look at the older videos in which i talk about some other like tests of charging and power brakes with iPhones and stuff. Plus, you can also subscribe so you don't miss the next uploads, which I think that are gonna bring value to you. So that's why I encourage you to subscribe and become part of the community. Okay, the next point is the 20% mark. And using the slower 5 watt charger, we got there in about 18 minutes and 20 seconds. Not sure if that is too much or like enough, I have no idea, I'm just comparing it to each other. And the 10 watt power brake got there to the same point in 19 minutes and 20 seconds. Again, it's, um, it's kind of weird that uh, the more powerful charger gets things done slower, it's kind of weird, but yeah. Keep in mind that charging the Apple Watch is a bit different than charging iPhones and the percentages or just really jump up really quickly. You can, for example, go from 18 to 20 without even noticing, without going through 19. So it's kind of difficult to catch the exact second. You know, it's an Apple Watch, so yeah. 50%, the half of the battery. You can see, 5 watt charger got there in about 48 minutes and 48 seconds. Not sure, again, if it's good, but the 10 watt power break got to the same percentage point in 50 minutes and 49 seconds. Again, a bit slower, we're talking about half of the battery, this is something like worth talking about right now, so uh, it's not faster, it's not even the same, the 10 watt is a bit slower at this point of time. But yeah, it's kind of interesting the pattern, you can see that each percent got there in like one minute, like one minute for each percent, so it's kind of interesting, let's see if it keeps going like that. Okay. 80% the 5 watt power brake got there in 1 hour and 17 minutes and about 20 seconds. Again, it looks like the, the thing, the ratio still is valid, like we have 1% for each minute, kind of interesting. But anyways, the 10 watt power brake got to the same point in 1 hour and 22 minutes and 56 seconds. 
Not a glamorous result, it's about 5 minutes slower, I mean it's not much but we expect it to be even faster if not the same, so I, I kind of don't know what to say about it. 90% Well, we are almost at the full battery, at the full capacity, but 90% have been reached using the slower, quote unquote, slower 5W charger in 1 hour and 28 minutes and 2 seconds, which is 2 minutes slower than the 10 watt power brake which got there to the same point in 1 hour and 30 minutes. So yeah, we, I don't know, I mean, again, the ratio is still the same, uh, 1 hour and 30 minutes is exactly 90 minutes, which, I mean, which got us to 90%, so again, 1 minute for 1% point. And finally, the full battery 100%. Using the 5 watt power brake, we got there in about 1 hour and 39 minutes. Uh, you can see the ratio is still uh, pretty on point. And uh, the the thing, an interesting thing is that the 10 watt power brake got to the full battery in about 2 hours, like 1 hour 58 59 minutes, which is a vast difference. Like 90% wasn't even that bad, it was about 2 minutes, but the full battery, I mean being like 20 minutes slower when it's even supposed to be faster that just does not make sense so as you can see these are the results i'm using the very same conditions the very same apple watch the same everything it should be fair i'm only switching up the power brakes so this is how it works this is how it turns out to be i kind of don't know what to say about it would i recommend uh, like uh, charging the apple watch with 10 watt power brake Apparently not, like absolutely not, it doesn't really make any sense and you can get it done a lot faster using the regular 5 watt power brake. So as you can see the results are in, they pretty much speak for themselves, there isn't much what I could add as an additional information to it, so I would just say that I'm really grateful for your support, I want to say thank you so much for watching until the end, if you enjoyed this video then make sure to smash the like, make sure to leave a thumbs up, it really does help the channel and the video, it makes it show up to more people so more people can find it helpful or valuable, so that's like the whole point of asking me to, asking you to actually click the like button. But again, thanks a lot for watching and support, see you guys later in the next video.